yet. Jonathan said his friend called him that's been flying at the point of the mountain for years. He's like, holy crap, I can't do what you guys are doing. Are those advanced students? And I'm like, no, those are guys been there for four days. And they're like, holy crap. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. That's reality though. Yeah. It's like literally, you know, people are honest. The problem is, is the instructors who are not, they're just not honest. They don't admit when they see skills and then try and improve themselves. It's kind of, it, you know, it's, you never see videos like yours. You never see no. videos of guys on the beach kiting. You never see no. videos of guys doing any run and jumps or any reverse cross control. At best, you maybe see them pull the glider up once for two seconds before they lose control and then pull it up again to launch. I mean, I watched a video today of a guy who was walking a student through his first launch, and it took 30 forward launches for him to get in the air. Yeah. It's like, that's not control, that's hope. hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you're not learning anything because all you're teaching the person is how not to do it. It doesn't yeah. matter how long you do it wrong, you just keep doing it wrong. Because they never build the reflexes and the they're muscle not building memory the skill. And the all skill. they're told is run that way and don't touch anything. And then just do that 50 times and hope you get in the air once. Yeah, and you listen to the guys on the radio and it's like, okay, good, add power. Run, good, yeah. power. Keep your hands up. Hand, don't, don't touch do anything. anything. Full throttle. They get in the air and they're in a barrel right turn and they're like, yeah. Just don't touch anything, no brake. Yeah, well full they throttle. oscillate all over the place. They're like, oh yeah, just hold full throttle, don't do anything, you're doing great. You look doing? good, man, you're what flying. What is he doing? <laughs> look around, you see the scenery. It's, it's a very nightmare. nightmare. It's, it's total insanity, and it's like, you, you know, super training doesn't have competitors, literally. Yeah, it's, because it's like you challenge, you know, we show a video. Here's our student, reverse kiting, no hands. Let's see if your instructor do that, not the students, the instructor. And it's like, dude, nobody in the world posts a video and says, look, I can do it. Yeah, there's not, I mean. Not one. We challenge over and over and over. Here's our student walking up a vertical wall or kiting on a fence post. Show us your instructor doing this. Then show us your student. Nobody students can do it. They don't do it. They're not teaching that type of skill. And so nobody even tries to refer, you know, refute that we're the only ones teaching it. It's unrefuted. Yeah. No, no one can do it. They can't. If they could, they could just post a video on YouTube. I mean, it's very simple. This is where you post if you took training somewhere else and you were kiting up vertical walls and reverse kiting no hands, show the video. Bam, if it exists, show the video. Anyone in the world, if you took training anywhere in the world, and when you came out of that training, you could reverse kite no hands, kite up a wall, run and jump 10 times in a row without losing control, Launch do foot drag landings, fly a 16 square meter glider in 25 mile an hour wind without any oscillation and get hundreds of flights, you know, show me. It just doesn't exist. So there's super training and then there's just complete absurdity. It's like, please somebody at least try and compete with me and give me a challenge. <laughs> it's like, can somebody challenge? I mean, I want to challenge. It'd be fun if I could go, oh, hey, I gotta try and outdo this guy. Who do I compete against? There's nobody. Yeah. Nobody. You go to like the point of the mountain in Utah, they chuck you off a cliff with no training. We've seen it. It's a total cluster screw nightmare. The, we have people in this class, like Lucky. The, uh, they chucked him off a cliff at the point of the mountain with no training. Boom, broke his back. Like quits and then finally comes and realizes and sees our video and goes, well, there's what I should have learned. And so he comes through super training, learns it properly. And then we have to have to rebuild his confidence because he's so scared from having been taught wrong and already breaking his back from sheer incompetence. And then he comes to us and we have to repair that damage and build his skill on the ground and very slowly work him up 
because he had incredible skill before his first flight. But his confidence, because he broke his back, his confidence was had been shattered. One of the big lies I see the totally dishonest people use is, oh, you can't learn to fly inland by training at the beach. Um, hello? How do you train inland? How do you kite a glider inland when you have no wind? You don't. Yeah. So you either kite or you don't kite. You can't kite if you don't have wind. I mean, unless you run, you can make your own wind by running, but do you want to run seven hours a day making wind? It's total absurdity. It is. It's, it's crazy. And you don't learn to do a no wind forward by doing a no wind forward. If you do a no, a no wind inflation and run and pull the glider up, you get a total of about six to 10 seconds of practice. Six to 10 seconds. You would have to do 88,000 no wind forward inflations to equal six days on a beach. Practicing eight hours a day, kiting. It's just, it, it's ridiculous. You're not gonna go out and run 88,000. So these people don't learn skill. So you learn the skill to do a no wind forward by doing all of those hours forward kiting, feeling the loading, getting the reflexes, where as the glider starts to unload, boom, you add brakes, drop your stance, run forward, lean, weight shift, move onto the glider, turn the direction the glider's going. And it, I can't even say it as fast as you need to actually.